Good day and welcome to our how to create key sequences with macros. This is useful to perform multiple processes on our cash register post system using only one key. Let's go. Load our QCC file on Kubrock. In this example, we will be using electronic journal in binary format. User reports are pre-configured. To program macros in Kubrock, go to Kubrock file macros. On caption, we can set the macro name. Option 1 must be 2 to work with key codes. And on list, we proceed to set the key sequences. Our first macro will simulate input 500 on first tender type. Using two decimals on our register, this will be assumed as 5 in our cache key. In this sense, our list contains 53, 0, 0, and the key code for the first payment method. Macro number 2 is used to export a specific user report to USB. This applies only in models which support this feature. We will export the user report number 2. The key sequence is in P mode, user report number, X key, then 1, 2, 4, type key, and then return to register mode. Click it on help button list will be find more information about the list settings. For example, the central log 251 register mode and 255 to P mode. The type key is key code 19 and enter it's equal 13. And for alphanumeric, for example, 1, 2, 3, the key code are the respective ASCII values. Another option is reviewing the key codes directly on the keyboard. Macro number 3, it's named Write Binary Journal. The key sequence used to print out, write and delete the journal on our cache register. We input the key codes Macro number 4 is used to simulate the sequence used to export a user report to a pre-configured FTP server. We will use, as example, user report number 4. The first value on the list is to switch the register in P mode. Input the key code 255, then the user report we want to use. Key code 52 corresponds to the number 4. Key code 2 is to press X key and the respective key codes for 1, 2, 3 to finalize key code for type and 251 to return to register mode. Macro number 5 will execute two macros. In this sense, we will execute first the macro number 3 and after macro number 4. To finalize, we configure the keyboard including the macro keys and send the complete config file to the register. And this is it. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe.